Automakers mimic each other. It's one of the reasons for the character sapping convergence among modern cars that we often lament. Take, for example, the inter-luxury sports sedan segment, where nearly every automaker is fully turbocharged engine lineups and complicated electronic adjustments for practically every vehicle parameter from the suspension to the transmission. And then there's the Lexus IS350F Sport. High is the 3 series that BMW used to make. Lexus refinement, supportive front seats, Lowe's finicky infotainment controls, dated on-screen graphics, could use more power. It, too, has an adaptive suspension and adjustable driving modes, but the steering, suspension, and powertrain cannot be individually adjusted as in the BMW 3 Series or the Audi A4. You get four choices, including one good default normal setting. The V6 powered IS 350F Sport isn't turbocharged like BMW's 340i or Audi's S4. And at $50,154 fully loaded, this range topping, sportiest is maxes out at approximately where pricing for the 6 cylinder 3 series starts. Nearer to 3, the Lexus isn't above mimicry, as it clearly bogies the 3 series but it's the E90 Generation 3 series that went out of production in 2011. That's good, because from a driving standpoint we still view that car more fondly than we do today's F33 series. When this IS 350F Sport first appeared in 2013, it beat the current Gen 3 series in our Sport C-Down comparison test. Four years later, the IS 350F Sport has undergone a mild refresh and gained standard active safety features such as adaptive cruise control and lane departure warning but has lost none of its charm. Careful tuning lends the IS 350F Sport impressive range, from quiet and smooth and, well, leak shifts like, to quick quitted and screwed down. Yet it doesn't feel like different cars at each extreme. This used to be the hallmark of BMW's sedans, which could change demeanor from junior executive commuters to backroad ballerinas as the driver's mood dictated. Today, the 3 Series is bipolar, ranging from the too soft comfort driving mode to an overly stiff ride and hair trigger throttle in Sport Plus. Not so the cohesively tuned Lexus. There is an Alfa Romeo Giulia like linear progression through the IS 350's driving modes from normal through Sport S and Sport S Plus. Changes to the F Sport exclusive adaptive suspension stiffness level don't immediately register, and the steering incrementally takes on more heft without ever feeling like the airlock on the Red October. The car's responses to control inputs in the lazy commode and the less boring settings are recognizably the same car. It all works. The baseline F Sport suspension tune is comfortable yet tied down, keeping body motions in check without beating up the passengers. The sport modes tighten up the damper's rebound control more than anything else, so impact harshness over expansion joints or potholes doesn't worsen, nor does the ride in general. Sport S and Sport S Plus also sharpen the sticks with which the engine and 8-speed automatic transmission are poked. Oh, and that naturally aspirated V6 makes great sounds particularly above 4,000 revolutions per minute when an intake resonator nicely amplifies each gulp of air the engine takes in. The characterful V6 builds power linearly and revs eagerly, lacking only an outright punch. The steering could return more feedback, too, and a little extra crispness from the 8-speed automatic and brake pedal wouldn't hurt. Still, it all fits the comfort-minded Lexus thread throughout the IS350, Stitching together the suspension's buttery bump compliance, the transmission's creamy upshifts, and the radio knob's hydraulic resistance to form a consistent, rounded edge flavor. It tastes and smells like a Lexus, albeit one with quick steering guiding a balanced chassis. Track trials nonetheless, the less powerful BMW 330i wipes the floor with the is at the track. Despite having 306 horsepower and 277 lbft of torque to the Bimmer's 248 ponies and 258 lbft, 
the roughly 200-pound Chevy Lexus trails the 330i to 60 miles per hour by 0.6 second. The six-cylinder, 320 horsepower 340i does the deed 1.2 seconds quicker still. This Lexus recorded a weakish 0.84 grams on Oscar pad, although that was enough to give it a 0.01 grams edge over the last 330i we tested. On spicier tires, the 3 Series has nuzzled close to the 1.0 grams mark, an achievement no IS 350 we've tested has approached. Lexus could toss a turbocharger or two under the IS 350's hood, slap on some gummier summer tires, and ratchet the suspension to full spank Z driver German stiffness levels and post better numbers. It could, but it shouldn't. That sort of full-blown F model like the 467 horsepower RCF is for. Instead, Lexus should throw some effort behind updating the ISIS infotainment control interface. The on-screen buttons are scattered about, intended to be selected computer mouse style using a console-mounted joystick. This is hard to do in a moving car, or even in a stationary one. List-like menus and a rotary knob resembling BMWs or Audis would be far less distracting. Loads cooler is the digital tachometer. Cleanly displaying both a digital speedometer and trip information within the boundaries of its physical ring, it can motor itself to the right to reveal a second display with audio, navigation, trip, and settings menus. Tap a steering wheel button and the tack scoots back to the gauge bar's center. Other details delight. Two, including the supportive front seats, the spacious rear door openings that ease ingress and egress, and the largest trunk. Lexus even provides actual knobs for volume and tuning as well as hard buttons for the climate control system, possibly as penance for its infotainment sins. Another sin? That the rest of the is range, and, frankly, Lexus's other sedans save for the similarly sweet GSF don't have anywhere near this IS 350F sports mojo. For all the cohesiveness of this specific trim level with this specific engine and rear wheel drive, the IS lineup is rather inconsistent. The four-cylinder IS 200T, non-F sport IS 350, and lesser V6 powered IS 300 can't compare. Say what you will about modern 3 series is scatterbrained, multimodal or wonky chassis setups, at least they're all like that. Imagine the entire IS family mimicking the IS 350F sports mix of everyday livability and sportiness. Now that would be something worth copying.